The reader about what right now is a mind blown prophecy from Prophet Mark Miracle. In this prophecy, he has revealed that something shocking will soon happen to River State Governor Sim Fubara. I'm not going to waste your time, I'll just like watch the video and listen to everything Pastor Mark Miracle have to say. Please do me a favor, like the video right now and drop a comment. By doing this, you trigger the YouTube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell so you will be notified when I post another video. God bless you as you do so watch this video river state is my home and forever will be my home because this is where i was born and god told me he took me to governor fubara's office directly in his office the governor's office and i saw him sit there the rest at the back looking up to god and said god if only you can do this one if only because i see something about to happen and he was rested back looking up in his office and he was saying, only him, say, God, if only you can still do this one like you did others. You know why I saw this? I said this because Governor Fubala is about to get a shocker. He's about to get a shocker from the opposition. But he still will stand victoriously. Amen. Yeah, Although the coming event may slightly displace parts of his cabinet, mm. but he will still stand up victorious. Yeah, Amen. I saw him relaxed on the chair. I say, God, if you can still do it again. Sorry. This is a message to the governor. He gets to them. He says, that God who you are banking on will forever fight for you. Mm. Mm. And there will be no war that will break out in river states. Yes, sir. Because a matter of fact, it's a two-way thing. He dies. He's dozing. He dies. He's dozing. And God will never allow that dies to doze on the wrong paths. Amen. We have people who begin to run like that scatter in the states. Sorry. We pray as a church, the peace of God rests Amen. on this state in the name of Jesus. I'm sure you have heard everything Pastor McMurdo have to say will be happening in River State. Please, I want to urge us to pray for the governor of River State. It is important for us to pray for him. I know you, you may not belong to PDP, you may not like Sin Fu, but maybe you belong to APC and all that. But please, if you're a River person, in fact, if you're a Nigerian, Pray for Sin Fubara. It is important for us to do so. It is important for us to pray for him. But I, if you listen very well to what Pastor Mark Miracle said, he said that despite everything that is going to happen, despite the shaking, despite the trouble, despite the challenge from the opposition, that he is going to come out victorious. And that is why I want us to pray for him. That God should give him the stamina. God should give him the wisdom. God should give him the strength, the know-how to navigate through this uh, tough ch uh, challenge that is coming, through this uh, phase of life that is going to come, through this evil wave that the enemy wants to blow towards his, uh, his uh, government. Let us pray for him that God should give him the wisdom to deal with all of all these things. Please don't forget to pray for the people of River State. Let us pray for the land of River State. See, we need peace and unity in River State. Like they, uh, like Pastor Mike, Mike Miracle have said that there will be no war in River State. Let us pray that God should help maintain peace, unity and order in River State. Because it is important for us to be uh, in unity and in peace. Some people, uh, I, I don't know how should I even put it safe. Some people don't uh, really understand what it means to be in peace. You see, peace of mind eh, is greater than anything you can think about. I'm telling you, being having peace of mind is greater than everything you can think about. Some people, I, I hear them on social media, oh, now war can solve this. I was listening to two guys yesterday, they were saying that uh, the problem of Nigeria cannot be solved by dialogue. It, can, it will only be solved by war. I was I was really surprised. I was telling them that do they really actually understand what war means? Maybe they are thinking that war is what we, we see on television. That's not it. That's not it. I was giving them instant. Just imagine that war comes and your house, the house you have suffered to build is destroyed and now they make peace. Who is going to rebuild your house? I don't understand why some of us will just sit down and say, Oh, what Nigeria needs is war. If you need war, I don't need war. And that is why I am going to pray for peace and unity in River State. I don't have the strength to be running Heta Skeeter or to be thinking about my family. Hey, are they safe? Are they not safe? Are they, I don't have, even my friends, I don't have the strength. Even that person that don't even like me, that thinks, uh, that, that hates me, I don't want that person to die because of war. Yes, war is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So let us pray for the land of River State. If you are there saying that we let's fight for let's please please let's not wish for all those things 
personally i need peace and unity in river state and in nigeria and that is why i am going to be praying for nigeria for river state for everything to be in order for everything to be in order we have heard of the thing happening between sin fubara and wiki we have heard all these things let god give sin fubara the wisdom to deal with all these things because at the end of the day i've i've only said this that if two elephants that's an old adage anyway that if two elephants fight it is the grass and the ground that suffers when all these things start happening it is you and i you that is going to carry the cross of something we don't know it is you and i that is going to suffer it is you and i that is going to cry these people they don't care if they like uh, it, okay currently now there is strike and some people are not going to work these politicians they don't care they can decide to leave this strike uh, even till next year they are not going to feel it because they have control of the cash they have all the money they have everything they need it is you and i that will still cry that is why when we say let us pray it's like uh, we don't have any other thing to do it's like uh, we are benefiting anything from this government no it is because at the end of the day it is you and i that is going to suffer from the irresponsibility of these politicians yes i use that word irresponsibility because they are not responsible most politicians are not responsible and that is why things are messed up in the country right now but we are not going to follow them that way if you say let's deal with them based on their irresponsibility i'm telling you that it is going to cause something that is not going to favor us and the last thing i want to happen in this country is violent anything that is going to cause destruction anything that is going to cause loss of life and properties i don't need it i don't want it to happen because it is not going to move us forward it will only cause if you go to an area where there's even they even did riots even during the time of NSAS, where they were burning and destroying things, look at how messed up that particular area looks. Let alone war. No, it's, it's not an option. Let us pray for our governor, Sin Fubara, and also pray for our country, Nigeria. Pray for our president, Bola Ahmed Tinibu. God should give these leaders, God should give these rulers the wisdom to handle situations in this country, Nigeria, and also to make decisions that are go that is going to favor the citizens of the country and move this country forward. Because I know why a lot of people are talking about World War five fight, fight is because things are hard in the country. Things are really hard in the country. A lot of people are suffering. So let us pray that God give these leaders the wisdom to make decisions that are, that is going to favor the people, that is going to make the people to at least have a better and easier life. Let us just pray that prayer. Stop wishing for war. Stop calling for violence. Let us pray for our governor, Sin Fubara, that God should give him the wisdom to make decisions that is going to favor us and also the wisdom to control whatever it is the opposition wants to throw at him for the safety of the people of River State and for the betterment of the state thank you so much for watching the video please do wait to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified if you're returning subscriber i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel we appreciate you we appreciate the support thank you so much please do me a favor share the video also share that platform share with your friends and love them so they will know what god is saying in our country nigeria and don't forget to like the video and drop a comment by doing this you trigger the youtube algorithm to continue to recommend the video to more people god bless you as you do so i will see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you your will is being written i am what i am by the grace of god as long as that grace does not fail satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.